We're back with Ahmed Abukar. And Ahmed, you're sharing your story of your mom coming to Christ after being a Muslim for many years, sharing how coming here to North America, um, all of a sudden, everything, the world is your oyster. Yeah. So one night, you come home, and you're intoxicated. Yeah. So I come home, I was completely drunk. And, and you know, it, it, I had that feeling of having the best night of my life. Mm -hmm. That's that kind of feeling. I came in and walked in, and I look over, and my mom was praying for me as I walked in. Oh, this is like 3, 4 o'clock in yeah, the morning. Yeah, so this is, this is really early in the morning, not expecting her to be awake. And um, so I see that. And... I think at that moment I realized it was more than just a motherly love. There's something else that she is, you know, uh, putting her faith in. And, and, and I think that was that seed, that mustard seed that God talks about is that little thing that you say, you know what, maybe there's something there. Mm -hmm. So I come home um, and, and I see that on her knees and it just changed my mind in, in, in different ways, right? Mm -hmm. so. so you decided to do something interesting. So you prayed. And you pray to God, to Jesus. You're just like, you're just sending out a prayer. Yeah. So what happened is like, I, I came home one day and, and I looked in the mirror. I was actually, you know, getting ready to go for bed. But I looked in the mirror and I was like, this can't be it. Mm -hmm. There has to be something more. Because every time I reach a, a desire or a goal, it like fades away. Mm -hmm. It never stays. And I said, you know what, this can't be it. Because if I'm seeking something and I'm not getting it, then that means something is wrong. So I looked in the mirror and, and, and I said that to myself. And then I went and he said, you know, Allah, God, wh whoever, whatever it is, I know there's something more. Mm. Show me. Show me something. So I can seek that thing that, that, that's rather than something that's a lie, right? Mm. So, and that's what happened. What happened? <laughs> so I'm expecting like a miracle. I'm going to change my life and I'm going to become amazing. Yeah. But what happened was I started remembering sins and bad things that I did in the past. And it was almost like my conscience revived, right? And, and it was like I felt bad and gross about the things that I did way back in the past. Even the things before my mom uh, um, changed, right? So, and I remembered, even, it doesn't matter how much good deeds I do, those bad deeds are still there. Mm -hmm. Right? It needs to be, it, something needs to happen to those things in order for me to be ready for God. So these things started coming up. And I remember, you know, at work, working, coming down for a smoke. And I'm just, why do I keep remembering things? My conscience is like coming alive. And it felt so weird uh, and almost disgusted. So I came home and, and, and I went on my knees because I couldn't handle it anymore. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I went on my knees and, and I said, God, forgive me. Forgive me what I did. And, and I felt I felt the forgiveness from Jesus Christ. Wow. So, now, do you think, as a Muslim, if you had prayed that prayer, would you have felt that now all of those deeds are gone, all of that all of, all of that past sin is gone? No. What, what is the difference between Jesus and the other faith that you had before? There is there is the biggest difference, and, and there's a lot of people who think that there's no difference. Yeah. It's a huge difference because what we do for God in Islam, we work to get. Uh, the good de to get good deeds so that it can weigh out the bad deeds. Mm -hmm. That is a complete lie. Our God is perfect and He is awesome and He is the perfect judge. And if your God is going to wink at your sin, mm -hmm. then He's not a God. Mm -hmm. So the difference is that uh, in Christianity is that God did it. Mm -hmm. And because He did it out of the abundance of God's love, and that's when you do your the good things. That's why that's why you pray. That's why you go, you know, and turn the other cheek and love the people that you do, that that usually you don't love because God's love because He did this for you. You forgive because God forgave you. So it is the abundance of God's love. In Islam, it's more like I gotta reach for God. Why you gotta reach for God? Why you gotta reach for God if 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 if, if God can't forgive you and you can just go to Him without you know showing off or showing your good deeds, right? And so as you prayed that prayer, all of those past sins are now on Jesus. They are laid at his feet. You do not bear any of them ever again. That's right. How do you feel about that now being, it's been three years. You, it's you, been three years. You accepted yeah. Jesus yeah, into your heart, right. 2014. Yeah. What, what is Ahmed like now? Describe yourself now. Uh, the thing is, you read, you read the Bible, right? Uh, a lot of the times when we read the Bible, it's like a story, mm. right? And it never comes to life. And I think what happened to me throughout these three years, I started realizing that the Word of God is actually alive. Mm. We're not reading just words. 
Jesus was alive. Mm -hmm. He walked on this earth. He is Lord. Mm -hmm. He healed and he's healing right now. He's healing people. People are changing their minds. I'm a, I'm a testimony mm -hmm. that my mom prayed and God changed my heart. My brother, my sister, they all change. Miracles, everything we see that the Bible says, it happens. And I wanna like tell people that is that God is not dead. He's here and he's actively healing and he's actively changing people, right? And so that's, that's my three years is that the word of God is alive. And as I'm reading the word and I see the change in my life, I almost wanna tell people that, right? Mm -hmm. So. I think that that's what mainly the three years for me is that God's work becomes alive. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much, Anna, no for sharing your story today. No problem. Oh, I want to encourage you at home that are watching, especially parents. You might be praying for that child that you're just like, God, please bring that person, bring that child to Jesus. Ahmed is a perfect example of God answering prayers, and it might take years. I know Ahmed's mom was praying for him and his siblings for years, but this is the fruition. This is the fruit of her diligent prayer. So don't give up. I'm encouraging you. Ahmed's encouraging you. Keep praying for your children. God hears you, and he will answer your prayers. The prayer lines are at the bottom of your screen, one 273 44, 44. And if you're watching and you just simply don't know Jesus, you have no idea who he is, our prayer partners would love to introduce you to him today. Stay with us. We'll be right back.